What's up you guys? It's me. In today's video, we are going to be having a whole dedicated video to reorganizing my makeup collection. I have a lot of things going on behind me. I have Spongebob on this TV. I have Bojack on my computer. Um, this is just how my brain computes entertainment. I have stuff on my TV 99% of the time going on mute and then I always have something playing on my computer. Don't ask how I'm able to keep track of both, but I'm always watching both at the same time. I recently moved and I had like a handful of makeup here and I just recently was able to bring all of my makeup collection here as well as the storage unit that I used to have storing everything together. I finally have everything in one place and I'm super excited to clean it out because I actually moved this whole storage unit in the pouring down rain last week. That was a mess. Thankfully nothing happened to it, like there's no mold or anything weird going on in the storage unit which was my number one fear but because it's open it's it like kind of air dried by itself but i really want to disinfect it clorox wipe it um and i just have makeup everywhere as you guys can see by my face also it's literally 12 30 in the morning so that's also why i don't have any makeup on but nine times out of ten i'm not wearing makeup it's just in everyday life i really need to do like a quick little purge clean through. I used to do these videos quite often. I did at least two or three of them throughout the years of me having this channel, but I think it's time for a new. This is a new chapter, new evolution, so why not have a new purge? I honestly don't wear that much makeup ever anymore, but nine times out of ten, it's really just like a very simple look if I'm doing something or if I just really want to go out like the last time I went all out was a couple weeks ago it was Halloween and I dressed up as Shigo again for my first year on this channel I was Shigo and that was my favorite costume that I've turned into to this day I was 19 when I decided to become Shigo for Halloween on my channel so I think I did 19 20 and 21 I didn't do this year at all I just did like a quick little like kind of Halloween makeup look but I didn't actually do like my normal like what I normally do is like whole character bust down like I go full out for Halloween if you guys have been watching me for a minute that's really the only time that I really go full out with makeup I don't tend to do like dramatic crazy makeup I have like kind of a uh, connection or what's the word like physical attachment to a lot of these makeup products because makeup was something that I really had to like beg my mom to get into and to allow me to wear there's 95% of this collection I bought with my own money from my first job working at Chick-fil-A up until now with however many jobs I've had. I've had so many jobs since then. I spent my hard earned like little paychecks from Chick-fil-A on this makeup. There's a lot of stuff that I just know I will never get rid of just because it has a lot of sentimental value to me. But there's a lot of stuff where I'm just like, sis, especially recently, which I didn't film, but I basically threw away all of my foundations except for a couple and I repurchased like one or two because they're just expired. Like some things I'm like, Brittany, that's expired. Like it's it's getting to that point. For now, I'm gonna keep my makeup organization in this corner. I think it's the perfect space um, because my room is big, but it's not that big. So I am gonna leave it in here just because I feel like it's the most functional and I do, I have all of my cosmetic stuff over here. So let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, so this is the corner that you guys were just in and this is what we have going on. So this is my vanity mirror. Um, that I got a couple of years ago. I don't really have an actual vanity. I only have that desk over there So I just use that for my computer. I use this for my makeup storage and whenever I actually want to do my makeup I have like a little mirror under there that I just put on that desk over there To actually do my makeup if I feel like doing it that day and then in here I just have all of my makeup. I started putting my body sprays under here not my perfumes Those are my bathroom, but the body sprays gal okay i have a bunch of makeup in here and this is like water activated paints i have like random lashes sunglasses for some reason a headband in here i have mostly palettes in here i have palettes just everything in the book i just threw everything over here when i was transporting it this is another bag from home goods i think and then this is the makeup that i had here first there's nothing in any of these drawers but they're literally atrocious so i need to disinfect them and then up here i have just everything um i attempted to be avatar this year i'm not even going to show you what it looked like because i am honestly offended at my own self i didn't clean these brushes are you guys surprised if you know me you know me i just i'm, I'm too lazy <laughs> and i never get around to cleaning my brushes but i definitely need to so i have all of mine back there that are just like every single color in the book because i haven't cleaned them yet we're not going to clean them in this video but i will organize them and then i have just like cleansing oil this is from when i used to work at sephora and i think it's even etched i don't know if it's etched but 
when we get stuff, oh, here it is right there. The G stands for gratis, which is basically like free makeup that you would get as a employee at Sephora. All I did was work the counter, like I was a cashier, but they gave us little gratises every single month and I thought it was the coolest shit ever. Like I loved that aspect of working there. I only worked there seasonally and I didn't really do anything except for the cashier, but that was just like the cherry on top, babe. Like I loved my little gratis. So I knew it had the little edging that is so cute. So like little stuff like that, like I barely even use this, but like I'm not getting rid of it. Like she's a gratis. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. And then I just have some palettes here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to tackle this within an hour. We are going to clear out all of these makeup drawers. We're gonna clean them out. And then I'm gonna try to organize this stuff the best I can, separate some piles. And let's get started because we ain't got all night, babe. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. Y'all know what time it is. It's voiceover mode. Hey, <laughs> I haven't used this mic in so long. So last time the mic was in front of me, I was doing um, music major things. So the instinct to sing just came out. But hello and welcome to voiceover mode. I am your host. We are going to be cleaning out the drawers. I'm just Cloroxing them because like I said, I didn't clean them when I brought them here. Um, this is just a bag of all of my makeup that I just threw in there. I was moving my makeup storage kind of in a hurry. So I literally took everything out of it. started doing is basically just trying to sort everything out by category I started doing face palettes I did eyeshadow palettes lashes anything to do with eyes like eyeliner um, eyebrows I did a lot of face products in one pile I actually did purge the majority of my face products before I moved so there's not a lot over there um, I have a lot of things of skincare mask um, like those little skincare headbands that Hello Kitty one right there is my newest addition and I love her um, Face paints gets its own separate drawer because I just have so many of them I bought them in bulk So I'm just trying to separate everything because I just threw them all in those bags to transport them here that I came up with I have lip products I have all those face paints I was talking about they're water activated I need some regular face paints anybody have any suggestions comment them down below um, I have anything to do with eyes over there I have strictly eyeshadow palettes on this side and then I have my face palettes over here miscellaneous brushes um, I have like fake blood for when I did Halloween looks I have skincare stuff and masks and I also had my jewels that I tend to use for gluing on the eyes I did an Alexa Demi look and I used a lot of those jewels and I've had a lot of explosions since so <laughs> we've lost a few good men in that jewel department but I usually keep them with the bottom drawer as well with like my makeup remover and things like that you'll see that later on in the video I am organizing my Things to get my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup or doing skincare. I, ha I love those little reindeer clips. I got them from the Rudolph collection from ColourPop like a year ago. I don't really care for a lot of the things in the Rudolph collection. I like the eyeshadow palette, but like a lot of the face products I ended up purging. But those clips, those are so cute. I love them. Um, here I'm testing out to see if I still want to keep the Tatcha Dewey 
cream. I ended up keeping it. It's such a good cream and it's so expensive. So I was just trying to see if it like dried out on me and it didn't. This is me organizing my eyeshadow palettes. I have so many and I have purged a couple over the years, but I'm gonna be honest, 90% of them I always end up keeping because I just keep staring at them and I'm like, like this one, I really wanted to get rid of it, but I literally couldn't. Like I just kept looking at it and I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna keep it. So um, yeah, enjoy that process. The ones that I end up putting on the ledge with that Flamingo palette are the ones that I ended up purging, which is very few. At the bottom drawer, I'm putting things that I barely use and things that just belong on the bottom drawer. So I always keep my makeup remover on the bottom of my makeup drawers. The fake blood, I really only use for Halloween and I did not do any Halloween looks this year, as you guys know. So it rarely gets used, put that on the bottom. Um, I am starting to form like a mini little face paint pyramid. I always dedicate a full drawer to the face paints because I really do want to grow my face paint collection. Right now, I just have the moon they are water activated paints but i'm planning on looking for more kind of in the sets like this because i bought all of this at once it was like a set online i think it's called moon creations or moon cosmetics um and basically they just had the whole set for that much and i think it's actually called moon creations i'm looking at it right now yeah i think moon cosmetics is like a totally different thing so moon creations is the one that had the water activated paints i think they were a pretty penny though definitely over a hundred dollars but so worth it for the variation um on the bottom i also put my lashes mostly because i don't really wear lashes anymore um like i said i've kind of grown out of wearing makeup all of the time so the times that i do wear it sometimes i don't even wear the lashes but when i do i go to that bottom drawer and i pick me out a pair baby girl in these drawers is where I'm putting all of my face products. And by face products, I mean face palettes. I have a separate drawer for like creams and powders and foundations and things like that. But I do have quite a few face palettes that I didn't think I had. A lot of highlighter palettes. Oh my gosh, I went through a phase with highlighter palettes. Um, I have that blush palette by Morphe that you guys just saw. That's an OG. That is a ride or die right there. I love the blushes in that and that's basically the only one that i use i have a couple of others so that's going in that drawer now for one of my favorite drawers this is what i like to call buying the exact same color lip product just in 50 different variations so i have so many lip products that i refuse to give away <laughs> and a lot of them are basically the same color or different shades of the same family so that's me organizing those i also put chapsticks in here um i just love lip products and there's never too many because i always need one and i even have a black lipstick that i've used more times than you think for Shigo, I definitely needed that black. I've used black a couple times. This is where 
I put the remainder of my face products. Um, I have some face bases in there. I got some powders. I got some highlighters, like loose highlighters, not the ones that are in the palettes. Anything to do with the face that is compact and in single form, I put in this drawer. <music> Now it's time for the eye stuff, one of my favorites. So I'm literally putting anything that goes on my eyes or my eyebrows in this drawer. So I have a couple of tight liners that I never really use because I hate tight lining. Um, I have a couple of like big NYX pencils. I have colorful eyeliner. I have brow gel, brow pencils, just anything to do with the upper eye area I have in this drawer. <music> This is me kind of doing final rearrangements to the drawers, putting things um, in different places if I think they are belonging in different places, if it flows better. I'm just making like last minute decisions for the organization of my makeup. set everything off I just ended up cleaning the surface of the actual organizer and also my vanity little drawer it's actually a dresser it has two drawers that I use for clothing on there but it's kind of like a makeshift vanity with my mirror and my um, things below it I have jewelry and body sprays under there for right now but the actual makeup casing itself I'm wiping it down um, I ended up not actually reorganizing my makeup brushes just because I want to wash them first So I just kept them the way that they were <laughs> my room and no longer looks atrocious I still do have to vacuum <laughs> but as far as the actual aesthetics of it I love the way that this looks I ended up getting a jewelry box a couple of days later to put in that empty space underneath of the vanity mirror and then these are the finished drawers I love <laughs> I have some stuff that I ended up purging in this bowl and I actually need to repurpose this because it was holding my makeup that I had before I brought everything and now I don't really know what to do with it and it doesn't match my room. I'm thinking of spray painting it silver um, and using it as like a decor piece. I just have random stuff in here. I have this sugar scrub since literally I worked at Sephora in like 2019 so it needs to go. It's expired. I have like a dewy mist that I never really use. I have like a highlighter that I barely use. I have bronzer and blush from my videos that like are just old and I don't even use them anymore. I've had these ColourPop like mini single shadows forever and I still have two that I ended up keeping because I literally just can't give them away. It was when Kylie Jenner makeup videos were like really really the rage and I remember she was getting ready for I think her 18th birthday party which is insane to think about and she was using one of the shadows. It was like a copper shadow. I still have it and I bought it because of her. 
I'm like from that era of collecting makeup. So a lot of this makeup that I ended up keeping has a lot of sentimental value. There is one palette though that I bought and I just ended up never using it. And I kept keeping it for the longest time, but I literally probably have every single shade in this palette in my collection somewhere. So I'm like, it's time. I keep keeping it throughout the purges, but this time I was just like, I gotta give it away. Thank you guys so much for cleaning it out with me. I thought I'd take it back to my roots. I used to love watching these videos and I used to do them a lot. I think I did like two or three of these. And then I also did like two or three makeup collection videos. I'm not gonna be doing a makeup collection video because you guys basically literally just saw it. And also so I barely go makeup shopping and when I do I will take you guys along with me for sure if not at least do a haul because I actually really want to go makeup shopping I still love makeup I just don't do it nearly as much as I used to um, but I need a lot of basics that I don't have anymore because I clean them out one thing I don't need any more of is eyeshadow though but I always find a way to like work it into me wanting to get more because eyeshadow is just like my first love it's the first thing I learned how to do so I just automatically am gravitated towards it anywhere I go this um, makeup collection was definitely like a toned down version of my past ones definitely like a like semi-closed era for me I still love makeup but it's not to the level that it once was that was like a really long phase um and who knows it might pick back up after making this video but this is what i have for now thank you guys so much for watching it's 2 32 girl i need to take my ass to sleep i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye